Hi, in the last couple of videos we talked about how you measure the loop and the compensator and how you actually set up the equipment to, 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 to do these measurements. Um, what we're going to do in this short video is to measure the actual plant, the actual power stage of the power supply. So this is how we left the setup from the previous measurement, which was how you measure in the compensator. Uh, my signal was being injected across the uh, injection resistor. My channel one was connected to point A and my channel two was connected to point C. All I have to do in order to measure the plant is to remove this probe from this point and put it back exactly where it was before when we measured the loop. Let's put C back in. And now, if I want to measure the plant, all I have to do is remove this probe from that point and connect it to point C, which happens to be the comp pin or the output of the op amp of the controller. So now let's see what's going on. We are injecting a signal, just like always, across the injection resistor. However, we are now measuring from this point through this chip through the plant and we're picking it up from here. So what we are actually looking at is the gain of the PWM stage inside the chip, the gain of the, the PWM gain and the plant. So in total, I now expect to see the plant and the PWM without the compensator. So if you go back to the setup, again, this is our standard buck converter that we are using. I have already set up the, uh, the probes as I've, I've drawn on that, on that diagram, channel two is connected to this point. Channel one is now connected to the comp pin or the output of the PWM, uh, a bigger pardon, the output of the, uh, um, the op amp of the controller. And here you will see the classic shape of a buck converter's power stage or plant. I have got some DC gain and the reason for this DC gain is, of course, the gain of the PWM stage. Then I have got a resonance point here, and that is as a result of the inductor and the output capacitor. And then the gain rolls off, and around here you can see that the, the gradient is shallowing down, and that is the effect of the capacitor's ESR. If I look here on my phase plot, you can see that I start on zero uh, degrees. It rolls off down to around 180 because of the two poles, but before it hits 180, it gets pulled up as a result of the zero, and of course that is the ESR zero of the uh, output capacitors. So to have a quick recap of what we've discussed in the past few videos, we first started talking uh, th theoretically about body plots and what they tell us about the stability. We introduced the concept of crossover frequency, phase margin, and gain margin. Then we did some real measurements in order to show how you would look at the body plot and decipher this information on a real power supply. And we measured the uh, loop and then we measured the compensator, and now we have measured the plant, and we have completed the entire measurements that we are going to do for these series of videos. If you're interested to know more about our uh, uh, power supply design videos, please have a look at the website, and thank you very much for watching.